Mitchell in our top story on KCAL 9 News. Uh, you might have guessed it's Stormwatch. We have live team coverage for you. Meteorologist Amber Lee tracking the storm, and we're going to start off with KCAL 9's Candace Crone live along the Cajon Pass with a look at how the snowfall has been affecting the traffic there. Candace, we're not used to this. Yeah, it really has, Sandy. Now, the snow and ice caused a major pile up here on the 138. This big rig, one of several uh, vehicles involved, it hit a patch of ice and then swerved and then, as you can see, toppled over on its side. Uh, again, you can take a look inside. It looks like it was carrying some spinach there. While the snow and ice was a big problem for the driver of this big rig, it was a lot of fun for others. I'm just glad to be alive and I. I I said my prayer to God. Ramon Villanueva was still shaken after crashing on the icy 138 freeway in Phelan. The car just started spinning and it went on its side and it smashed into that truck. CHP says at least 20 vehicles were involved in multiple crashes. One person had to be airlifted to the hospital. Another suffered minor injuries. The, the black ice is what caused most of this right here and people's speed. They just need to slow down. Um, driving too fast, they came around this corner. Uh, once they noticed other vehicles had already slowed, they hit their brakes, they either hit the wall and they flipped, or they ran into other cars. Drivers trying to gas up at this Chevron had a tough time getting in and out. Grabbing a snow covered pump didn't bother one driver. Um, it hasn't been this cold in a while, but I like it cold. I don't really like summer, so I'm cool with it. Although the snow and ice caused problems for some, these kids couldn't get enough of it. They stopped for a quick snowball fight on their way to school. What's your favorite thing about the snow? I don't know. I when just, you get to make snowballs and like, make snow angels and stuff like that. Another look at those snow covered mountains. The students at Bear Valley uh, Unified School District actually had a snow day today. As for this big rig, well, they've got to unload it first and then they're going to tow it. Could take another several hours. Sandy, back to you. All right, Candace, it sure looks pretty. A fresh layer of snow along the grapevine this afternoon as well. KCLI's Jasmine Veal reports from Lebec. Snow. Oh, yeah, talk about snow. There's been barely any snow to talk about all winter until now. I got even got long johns on. But Vince Doberdinka still isn't impressed with a few inches that fell overnight and this morning around Lebec. There's not enough of snow. We need more snow. He wasn't alone in that thought either. I would say this is a little bit more. Hopefully this sticks a little bit longer. Last time it didn't, it didn't stick for very long. So, I mean, we haven't really gotten a winter, so it's exciting to get something. It was enough to cover cars. Cars and keep snow plows busy. At one point this morning, CHP had to escort drivers up the grapevine to slow them down. In Fraser Park, it was a snow day for students. I mean, even the little bit we had, what happened to the uh, schools today? Um, they canceled school today, so all El Home school district is shut down. It's probably because of Pine Mountain Club, which is in the back, and the roads freeze up with ice, and they don't want the buses in the back roads, not the front roads. James Tomlinson owns the Falcon's Nest restaurant and says the snow helps drive in more customers who get caught in the Bad weather. As a business owner, yeah, we love the snow. Um, other people might tell you different up here, but yeah, we're uh, we're all about it. And with more snow in the forecast, Doberdenka says he's hoping to see a better round two. You see all the snow that fell still up there on the mountain. It has not melted yet. The grapevine never shut down, but CHP says there were a few minor accidents on the five freeway from cars just slipping and sliding. Here on Lebec, Jasmine Veal, KCAL 9 News. All right, so a lot of people wondering what can we expect for the rest of the day? Let's check in with Amber Lee to find out. Amber. All right, Sandy, we are not done just yet with storm number one because there's still a lot of unstable air lingering with us here. Take a look. This is, I believe, our Mount Wilson camera looking at the fresh snow that just came down. Usually we see a lot more of, of the snow up in this area, but because we haven't had a lot of moisture at all this season, this is a nice sight to see. All right, so let's take a look at the radar. We do have a lot of these clouds really starting to push in. So we woke up this morning with just partly cloudy conditions, and you can see as we went on into the morning, the last few hours, a lot more of the clouds really started pushing in. So this is Fullerton. They're looking at very dark conditions right now because we have all of this moisture coming in off the ocean waters. So again, there is a shot that we could see the possibility of some light scattered showers that will continue on through the afternoon. Not only that, we could even see a chance for thunderstorms being triggered because again, all this unstable air continues to push through. So we're going to zoom in and show you where the activity is right now. We're looking at uh, this big rain cell sitting over the area that stretched from Norwalk and it had pushed into La Habra. Now we're starting to see it pushing into Hacienda Heights and going toward the Chino Hills area. And we're also looking at rain cells sitting right over. Calabasas 
And then in Orange County, a rain cell starting to rotate onshore currently. And you can see we have some oranges and also some reds earlier. So again, there is a chance that we could see lightning and also thunder. So you know the old saying, when thunder roars, head indoors. And then because we're still looking at partly cloudy skies, anywhere that you see some breaks within the clouds with that sunshine really filtering down to the ground level, uh, it's going to cause much more of that instability and added ingredients. So that's why we could see thunderstorms by the time we head into the afternoon. Here's a look at our snow totals so far. I'll have more on our rain totals and what to expect with storm number two. Back to you. All right, Amber, thanks. A uh, muddy mess in Newport Beach today. A water main break caused a debris flow. KCAL 9's Cara Finstrom shows us the cleanup. Water, water everywhere. Folks along Bayside Drive in Newport Beach got a true soaking this morning, not only from rain, but also a busted water main pipe. Just a mess. That's all. I mean, what can you say? Chris tells us a water main broke near a home under construction, and the pressure blew a crater in the hillside. About a foot and a half of mud ended up covering Bayside Drive below. This parking lot flooded. Businesses were inconvenienced, and neighbors had a tough time getting around the sloshy mess. Be careful, it's slippery down there. Overnight, the first bands of a winter storm brought up to a half inch of rain to some areas of Orange County. Tom Corbett measured what his lawn got. A little over a tenth of an inch, uh, according to our rain gauge. But uh, eh, plants need it. We all need it. But what we didn't need were the accidents caused by the slick roads. In Brea, this car slipped off Imperial Highway near the 57. A woman and a child were taken to the hospital. First responders blame both rain and speed. As the sun came up this morning, our helicopter captured traffic moving slowly on PCH near Laguna Beach. Nearby, surfers hit the ocean. But the National Weather Service is warning the most spectacular weather may be yet to come, including possible thunderstorms, hail, and even water spouts over the ocean. And we moved down to that parking garage area that was flooded. You can see all the mud where cars are supposed to be parked. Again, crews are hoping to get this all cleaned up, and you can see them hard at work over here by sometime this afternoon. Reporting here from Huntington Beach, Cara Finstrom, KCAL 9 News. Well, he has a little less than three years left in office, but President Trump already is gearing up for his reelection bid. He's hired former digital advisor Brad Parscale as his 2020 campaign manager. The Texas based consultant is a close ally, the president's son in law and senior advisor Jared Kushner. Mr. Trump's team filed paperwork to form his reelection committee on the same day as his inauguration. White House Communications Director Hope Hicks meeting with the House Intelligence Committee behind closed doors today. That is the panel looking into Russia's meddling in the 2016 election. Hicks is expected to be questioned about what she knows about contacts between Trump campaign officials and the Russians. She was the president's spokeswoman during the campaign. And there's a big push for tougher gun control. California Senator Dianne Feinstein is introducing a bill in Washington today. The Democrat and her Republican colleague, Senator Jeff Flake of Arizona, want to raise the minimum age requirement for buying rifles to 21 years old. The president has said that he supports the idea, but today the White House seemed cautious about whether or not he'd sign it. It would be premature for us to weigh in, but as I said, the president is still supportive of the concept. There are a number of things that are being looked at right now. That's not one of the ones that's being talked about as much as basically is closing loopholes. Texas Senator John Cornyn also introduced a bill to ensure federal and state authorities report history records to the National Instant Criminal Background Check System. And some more details now about the accusations of abuse against radio and TV personality Ryan Seacrest. As Jerika Duncan reports, his accuser says she endured years of inappropriate behavior while she worked with him. Ryan Seacrest is one of America's most recognizable TV personalities, but it's his alleged actions off camera that are now putting him in the spotlight. In an interview with Variety, Seacrest's former stylist Susie Hardy says she suffered years of unwanted sexual aggression by Seacrest, saying he grinded against her while wearing only his underwear, groped her genitals, and slapped her buttock. Slapped her so hard that it left a, uh, a welt that was still visible hours later when she got home. Variety senior TV reporter Daniel Holloway spoke to Hardy. She photographed that welt, shared it with investigators. Uh, we've seen that photograph of Variety as well. 
In 2013, Hardy says Human Resources for E asked her about her relationship with Seacrest, and she says she was fired after she told them what happened. But this past November, saying she was emboldened by the Me Too movement, Hardy had her lawyer send a letter to E detailing her allegations. The company hired outside counsel to conduct an internal investigation, which found insufficient evidence to substantiate allegations against Seacrest. Hardy told Variety E's investigation left her with a feeling of total exasperation, saying it was obvious the investigator was whitewashing it for Seacrest's side. We know that the E investigator did not reach out to four people that she referred to him, uh, who she said could help corroborate her story. E responded Monday by saying its investigation was extremely comprehensive and thorough. Any claims that question the legitimacy of this investigation are completely baseless. Seacrest's attorney says it is upsetting to us that Variety is electing to run a story about untrue allegations. He added that Hardy threatened to make false claims unless she was paid $15 million, a charge Hardy and her lawyer told Variety was untrue. We obviously wouldn't have published this story if we didn't feel that it was uh, highly credible and highly compelling. Rescued after spending her childhood locked in a closet. 11 years in the closet. Our brain is so used to that. She's a survivor and she's talking about what the Turpin kids might be facing as they now recover. Plus, is your smartphone eavesdropping on you? Tech companies are tracking phone use. We're going to show you what they're doing with all that information. And live in our red room right now, actress Madison McLaughlin is here. We'll talk about World Rare Disease Day, a cause close to her heart. First, though, a look at the best of LA and OC, our features on KCAL9.com. Time and Temp is sponsored by 1 800 The Law 2. If you've been injured in a car accident, get the right attorney to defend you. Get compensation with no out of pocket cost to you. Call, click, or text 1 800 The Law 2 now. Do you have rosacea with bumps and pimples on your face? If so, please visit us on the web to see if you may qualify to join our research study. Right now, we need adults with facial papulopustular rosacea to participate in a study of an investigational skin treatment. There is no charge to participate in our study, and compensation may be available. So if you have rosacea with bumps and pimples on your face, visit us on the web at myrosaceastudy.com. That's myrosaceastudy.com. Like you, my house is always on. That's why we switched to Spectrum, because they can keep up with the Harrisons, and there are no surprises. Thanks to Spectrum's super-fast internet, we all can stay connected at the same time. Switch to Spectrum internet with starting speeds of 100 Mbps and a free modem for only $29.99 a month. Call 844-376-7732. With Spectrum TV, we get over 200 crystal clear HD channels. And with the Spectrum TV app, my kids can watch their favorite shows on their tablet or smartphone. Switch to Spectrum TV. Get your favorite channels and a free DVR for only $29.99 a month. And the best part? No contracts ever. Spectrum even bought out our old one. Grandma, we're almost ready. Get Spectrum Internet TV and Voice for $29.99 a month each with no contracts. Call 844-376-7732. Congratulations, Dr. Harrison! Call now and make your home a Spectrum home. <laughs> a new garage door from Mesa can be yours for as low as $6.99. But wait, call right now and I'll knock off another $200 and doors start as low as $4.99. I'll even include the installation sales tax and bottom seal free. But wait, there's more. For the next 11 callers, I'll upgrade you to our world exclusive Silent Glide door system. It's 60% quieter than other systems. That's a $1,500 value all for only $4.99. Call 888-581-MESA. If you've been injured in a car accident, you need the right attorney right now. Get compensation and your car repaired quickly. There's no out-of-pocket cost to you. Call, click, or text 1-800-THE-LAW-2 now. A huge fire destroyed a building in downtown L.A. Look at these flames and power lines arcing as Sky 9 arrived on the scene just after 5 o'clock this morning. This is on Pico near San Pedro Street. It's in the Fashion District. 
a firefighter, and you can see them on the roof there. One of them hurt and was taken to the hospital in fair condition. It took about 45 minutes to put out the flames. One business burned. It's a clothing company called Priceless. We know that things can get wild in the news business. Take a look at this unexpected visitor who landed on the set of our sister station. This is San Diego. They're good for ridding your garden of bugs or oh. flying on just my head. <laughs> how's, that for, how's that for an introduction? Yes. Right. <laughs> we'll be right we'll back. Be talking about next. Are you kidding now. me? Oh my goodness. You can see the anchors keep their cool. It's a bird, an Ibis bird. <laughs> came in for a landing right on her head, too. The, yeah, it is. The bird was visiting from the San Diego Zoo, but apparently it wanted more airtime. <laughs> Very aggressive, huh? Yes. I'm landing here, and that's the end of that story. <laughs> Looks like she's a little afraid to move her head. Yeah, right? I would be afraid, too. <laughs> Going on. It matched her attire, though. Okay. It matched, went with the necklace. Pretty bird. <laughs> Definitely a beautiful bird. All right, so we are still talking a lot of showers and the chance for thunderstorms as we head into the afternoon. I know this morning we woke up to drier conditions and blue skies with just some cloud cover, but as we head into the rest of the afternoon, you can see that the system is not over yet. That low pressure system is just now moving um, on shore, and so it is causing some light scattered showers depending on where you live. And then as we head into the next Next couple of hours, as we continue to see more of the temperatures warming up, that daytime heating is going to uh, allow some of these showers to turn possibly into thunderstorms. So there is still a chance, there's still that risk that we could see thunderstorms once we head into the afternoon. So you can see the way it's rotating counterclockwise, that low pressure system, it's going to continue to push off to the east and then finally lift out of the area later today. But for now, take a look at what's happening. We're starting to see a lot of this activity coming in right off the ocean. So we do have a large rain cell that moved in from Norway. Walk and went toward La Habra, passing through Hacienda Heights, and now it's on its way toward Pomona and also uh, really bringing some rain over to the Chino Hills area. We're also looking at a large rain cell sitting over the Calabasas area, and as we zoom in earlier, we saw some heavier showers pushing through right along Topanga Canyon. And then now we're also looking at more of the rain cells uh, starting to push on shore to areas right near the coast of Orange County. We did have reports of pea sized hail just south of Orange County in the Camp Pendleton area. So again, there is some chance that we could see some more hail, possibly even some thunderstorms as we head into the next few hours. So I just want to show you really quick with the visible satellite. When you're looking at this, you're probably looking at, okay, there's just a few clouds here and there, but again, our air is very unstable from the system. So any breaks that we're seeing in the clouds with that sunlight is going to increase the unstable air and, and push that air up to the top, which causes that lift and causes uh, one of the mechanisms for these thunderstorms to really pick up once we head into the afternoon. So that's why most of the time we see these thunderstorms thunderstorms in the afternoon after we get to the hottest part of the day. All right, so rain totals, here's a look again, preliminary rain totals. These numbers could change depending on where you see the rain later this afternoon. Mount Wilson saw just over half an inch of rain, half an inch of rain for Claremont as well, under half an inch for Santa Ana and for Bell Canyon, and then Southgate and Huntington Beach saw over a quarter inch of rain. Here's a look at Hemet and also Rialto where we did see right around half an inch of rain for these areas and then Chino Hills just over a quarter inch, same with Whittier, and then just over a quarter inch for Northridge and under a quarter inch for Saugus. And here's a look at some other cities. Uh, again, this is hit or miss, depending on where you live. So LAX saw about a tenth of an inch. Downtown LA barely saw anything from this latest storm system. We still have these advisories. We still have these warnings in place until about 10 p.m. until the system fully leaves the area. And then highs today remain below average because of this first storm system. 51 out the door right now for Van Nuys, 54 for downtown LA, 52 also for areas like Riverside and San Bernardino. So the future cast shows that this system will continue to stick around for the afternoon. And then by the time we head into the evening, most of it's pushing off to the east. And then we're looking at a drier day for Wednesday. Wednesday will be the buffer day between the two systems. And then on Thursday morning, we start to see that second system pushing through to Ventura County and then finally making its way over to LA County around the lunch hour. And then by the time we head into the evening, we start to see some heavier showers pushing in. And this is basically going to linger with us for most of Thursday and into Friday. And we could even see some of the lingering showers sticking around till about Saturday morning before things warm back up by the beginning of next week. Back to you. All right. Looks good. A little wet, a little cool, but good. Amber, thanks. A time lapse from our Long Beach camera. You're going to see columns of rain in the distance off the coast.
And coming up, teens making some serious cash doing everyday tasks. Still ahead, see the new app that puts young people to work. And while we're in the break, take a few seconds. You can follow us on social media. We are CBS LA. We're on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. And don't forget, if you see news, maybe some rain, maybe even a rainbow or a thunderstorm, share your story ideas, your pictures and videos. We'd love to see them. Just use the hashtag CBSLA. If you've suffered a life-changing injury and you're in a hospital or rehab facility, please don't trust your legal rights and future to a stranger. Un desconocido. Who approaches you or your family. It's against the law. Call lawyers you know. Abogados en que tú puedes confiar. We've been successful in 95% of our cases, and we've recovered more than $2 billion for injured Californians. We'll fight for you. Hablamos Español. Join the almost 2 million Southern California drivers who have their auto insurance through the Auto Club. I didn't know how easy it was to just switch auto insurance. After comparing a few other rates, you know, it was clear that AAA was our best place to be. As an Auto Club member, you could save an average of $447 a year. Compare that to Geico, State Farm, or Allstate. You could save even more with AAA discounts. We have uh, the multi-car discount, the multi-policy discount. We save quite a bit of money by keeping everything we can with AAA. Even get a $100 travel certificate when you switch. Best of all, get the service we're famous for and peace of mind. Our reaction was, wow. I could not believe how much money I was saving when I switched over to AAA. The amount of money I was saving was staggering. At the Auto Club, my job is to help you get more AAA out of your AAA card. And that starts with great savings on auto insurance. Call 888-373-6017. The Auto Club. So easy, so smart, so switch. Losing my memory feels like I'm losing me. I like cookies for Tony. <laughs> he likes that. What's this for? I should know. My thoughts get kind of sticky. I tell myself it's okay, but I'm scared. What's happening? Do you have memory problems? Are they getting worse? Consider a study of a research drug which may slow the progression of Alzheimer's. To learn more, call us at 877-222-5439. If you've been injured in an accident, time is critical. That's why the Barnes Firm attorneys are standing by 24-7. If you've been injured, call the Barnes Firm now. Call 1-800-8-2-1. She is an extraordinary young lady. It's a really big honor. I hope they really feel like I'm preparing them for their future. Tomorrow is World Rare Disease Day, a day to call attention to those affected by rare diseases and rare disorders. Nicole Boyce is founder of Global Genes. Actress Madison McLaughlin is an ambassador for that group. Welcome, ladies. Thank you. Thank you for having us. So big day tomorrow. Yes. We'll talk about what you're doing, but you're part of this uh, huge advocacy group. And when we, we talk about rare diseases, uh, just reading over this, they're not that rare. They're not. Thank you for recognizing that. So. Some of the statistics are so mind-blowing. There's uh, one in 10 people here in LA are actually affected by rare disease. So one in 10 Americans have one of the 7,000 diseases that make up rare disease. Mm -hmm. And now with genetic testing, there's over 200 new diseases that are mm -hmm. being discovered every single year. It's 350 million people on the planet, more people impacted by a rare disease than all cancers and AIDS combined. It's massive. Yeah, it is mind-boggling, yes. as you said, but we're making progress, and we one are. of the ways we're doing that is just by talking about it, right? Exactly. Bringing attention to these rare diseases mm -hmm. that people may not even know exist. And Madison, I know uh, as some exciting news for tomorrow. There's a, a carousel that's yes. set up in San Francisco, and you're actually going to be riding it. It's, it's a way sort of to celebrate these uh, children and, and, and what Absolutely. they've been through. And to all come together, I have three younger sisters. They're all incredible human beings, and two of them are diagnosed with a rare disease. And what my family found walking into a room with Global Genes for the first time was the impact of being in the same room with people who get it, you know, mm -hmm. people who've kind of gone through the same struggles and the same celebrations as well. And so tomorrow with our carousel, I'm very excited to meet other patients who are going to have that same feeling. And this is also a fundraiser. It yeah. is. Um, it's actually been a month-long fundraiser that um, we are big in collaborations here in the world of rare disease. And mm -hmm. 
One of those collaborations is with uh, the Festival of Children Foundation. Um, Sandy Sears from Daniels has was the founder of this, and we've partnered with them on the first ever rare carousel of possible dreams that will be funding dreams or wishes from over 35 different charities, um, and a lot of them are looking to fund research, looking to fund medical equipment, working to get patients to clinical trials. So it's a it's an incredible day. Like I said, it's a month and a half long virtual event with our carousel event in San Francisco mm -hmm. being kind of a place. Yeah, to we're talking about everything many, yes. from scholarships to yep. wheelchairs. Yes. When, when we talk about diseases and rare diseases in particular, it's not just one. So how, how do you take on this massive project of getting the recognition? Well, uh, you know, there's a couple things we always talk about in rare disease. A, um, there are millions of people that in this world are thrown into starting everything from scratch, mm -hmm. right? So we aren't trying to do all things for everyone, mm -hmm. but what we are trying to do is create a, a connected global network of patients, giving them the tools to go out there and become rock stars for their disease. They have to start foundations. They have to start early stage, stage or funding early stage research. They have to go become lobbyists in DC. So if we can give them what they need, to go out there and really rule their world and mm -hmm. make forward progress, then everyone wins. And mm -hmm. so that's kind of our goal is connections and education for the world. And Madison, and your family has lived through this. Exactly. It must be so important now it's to see this. life changing. And I mean, I can speak from first experience, you know, being, like I said, in the room with and seeing all the work that Nicole and everyone at Global Genes does, it has quite literally changed our lives. Mm -hmm. And to know that by this event tomorrow and throughout the year and everything that Global Genes does, that they're changing the lives of people every single day, families like mine, it's very touching and very powerful to be a part of it. Yeah, such important work. Thank mm -hmm. you, ladies. Thank, Thank you, you. Thank Thanks you. so much for having us. All right, for more information about World Rare Disease Day, it's tomorrow, and Nicole's group, Global Genes, this advocacy group, just go to our website. It's kcal9.com. You can click Seen on TV. Still ahead, only on nine, she survived years of abuse long years before the, the Paris House of Horrors. And now she's talking about what the Turpin kids might be facing as they work toward recovery. <laughs> <laughs> and check that out, the thrill of a lifetime. But now these whale watchers could be in big trouble for this close encounter off the California coast. Also, ever feel like your smartphone is listening to you? We're going to explain how online companies seem to know what you're talking about. Over 40 years ago, Russ Brown set out on a mission to help injured riders. We fight for the rights of riders every day because we are riders and we know what you're going through. If you're injured in a motorcycle accident, don't fight the insurance companies with just any lawyer. Call 1-800-4-BIKERS. These guys will have your back. If you go down, call Russ Brown. Motorcycle Attorney! You know, I started roofing in 1981. I got my contractor's license in 1984 with one idea in mind, to do a better job than any of my competitors. And that's why I've hired people like you, to lead people to build the best roofs money can buy, the most affordable and high-efficient solar panel systems, and backup batteries. It's always been quality first. It's always been giving the customer the best bang for their buck. And nothing changing as we go forward. We're going to continue to innovate. We're going to continue to lead. You heard Jim. All this month, it's buy three solar panels and get one panel absolutely free on any 12 panel or greater solar system. Plus, combo up by adding a storage battery or get a new re-roof with your solar system and receive an additional 5% off your entire purchase. But don't wait. Jim can't provide buy three, get one for long. Just call 888-456-7338. 888-456-7338. That's 888-456-7338. From colds to cancer, when your child needs the most experienced doctors, you can trust that at Children's Hospital Los Angeles, we got this. When you get the news your child has cancer, we got this. When you want access to the most current clinical trials and one of America's largest bone marrow transplant programs for kids, we got this. So, from colds to cancer, when your child needs the very best, we got this. Find a Children's Hospital Los Angeles doctor at chla.org. 
Be advised. This is a once in a lifetime chance to save 40 to 80% on a hot tub and swim spa. Friday through Sunday. Major manufacturers and warehouses clearance of new 2018 inventory. Fairplex Pomona Building 7. Over 100 hot tubs on display and everything must go. See the revolutionary swim spa. You can exercise, swim, and relax without the expense and maintenance of a pool. Hot tubs starting at $29.95. All inventory 40 to 80% off. 18 month interest free financing. Trade ins welcome. Free delivery. We'll even haul away your old hot tub. Friday through Sunday. Fairplex Pomona, Entergate 17. Free admission. Call 1 888 SPA SALE. Live from the Broadcast Center in Los Angeles, this is KCAL 9 News at noon. A Southam woman says she can relate to the Riverside children found imprisoned in their own home. She was rescued from a San Bernardino closet. That was back in 1990. A shocking story of abuse and neglect, and now she's opening up to our Rick Garcia about what it took to survive. Are you excited? I tell her. Bella, I want you to have the best. What mommy didn't have. How old are you, Bella? Rose Gift is nothing if not a survivor. Yeah, of child abuse. Rose spent her childhood in the most unimaginable conditions. It was really horrific. 11 years in the closet. Rose was rescued in 1990 after an aunt and uncle tipped off police. In an interview nine years later, Detective Steve Filson described what he faced when he opened that closet door. There was a 12-year-old girl, completely emaciated. She, she looked like a concentration camp survivor. I had been kicked, stepped on. I had my hands, feet tied to the closet. It was completely full of cockroaches. The recent discovery of the 13 Turpin siblings rescued in Paris last month brought back a flood of memories of Rose's own rescue by the San Bernardino PD. When you first get let out, it's a whole new world. She says, like her, the Turpin siblings may be dealing with decisions they've never faced before. How to use a phone, how to pick out their own clothes, their own shoes, you know, that's all going to be new to them. Another adjustment, meal time with her parents. I went days without eating, maybe a week or two. Even though she was safe. It seemed like I had to go and sneak food because that's how it was for me when I lived in the closet. Rose's parents ultimately pled guilty and served five years in prison. Once they were released, both reached out to her. Rose reached back. As you start on your own, you want to feel loved. I forgave my mom and dad a long time ago. The torture, isolation, and hunger Rose endured have left scars inside and out. I have people tell me, oh, you're not going to make it. You're not going to be good for a mom. But Rose never believed it. Somebody told you uh, you're not going to succeed in life. Think the opposite. Give mommy money back. Rose and her husband Michael are parents now to three year old Rosabella. <laughs> Rose doesn't dwell on the past, but feels it's important to keep sharing her story, to give hope to other survivors, and. Let go. Let go of all the pain I had. See those paintings there? Rose says art therapy has been a big part of her recovery. She has some advice for fellow survivors. She says, speak out, forgive if you can, and find a way to take care of other people. Orange County officials have cleared the Santa Ana Riverbed of homeless people. They've relocated about 700 people to motels and shelters without any arrest. But anyone found at the riverbed from now on will be arrested for trespassing. Crews are going to start cleaning the riverbed, and that could take about a month. All right, it looks like we are drying out from the first of two storms as we take a live look outside on this Tuesday afternoon. And look how pretty it is in Blue Ridge. Uh, I still see some snowflakes, Amber. Yeah, so we're not in the clear just yet. So this first system is, has not really fully pushed out of the area completely. So once we head into tomorrow, that's a different story. All right, so let's take a look at our weather watchers. Our weather watchers have sent in some great pictures. That was an awesome shot of the new snow that we're seeing up in the mountains. We saw up to eight inches for some parts like Big Bear. Take a look. A lot of our weather watchers sending in some great shots. Bud in Owanga showing us this is his 
his property where you're, he's looking out of his, it looks like the front porch, and you can see it is just covered in snow from as far as the eye can see. All right, if you'd like to be part of the weather team, you can do so and be, become a weather watcher. Go to our website and you can sign up. Otherwise, take a look. This is our time lapse camera, our weather camp network of Big Bear. So, as I mentioned, Big Bear saw eight inches of fresh snow, so it is a skiers and snowboarders delight today. If you're up in the mountains, you're hitting some fresh powder. And then we also saw about six inches in other areas like Crestline and also Running Springs. All right, so here is a look at our radar net satellite right now where we are looking at a lot of the unstable air still with us. So as we continue to go on in the next couple of hours, we could see more of these thunderstorms triggering uh, as we head into the afternoon, the latter part of the day, that is. So as we're looking at this, a lot of the activities coming in off the ocean waters right now. So we do have a large cell that rotated off the coast and went toward areas like Long Beach and then went into Norwalk and La Habra, where we did get some reports of some lightning strikes in Norwalk. Now we're looking at this very same cell still pushing off to the east, bringing in some rain also to Pomona and Chino Hills. We also have a rain cell developing as we speak, sitting right over Calabasas, bringing in some heavier rain along Topanga Canyon. And then we also are looking at some rain cells coming in offshore that's going to start to push its way toward Laguna Niguel. We did get reports of pea sized hail uh, at Camp Pendleton. So, again, a lot of unstable air, and with all the sunlight uh, hitting the area right now, we could still see more of that unstable air bubbling up. Back to you. Amber, thanks. <laughs> Some tourists could be in big trouble for this up close whale encounter. This is video from Saturday near Fort Bragg off the California coast, and you can see those whale watchers right there. They are actually reaching out and touching the gray whale, and that's illegal. The Federal Marine Mammal Protection Act requires people to keep 300 feet away from whales. Those tourists now could face a $10,000 fine and one year in jail. The boat operator also could face a $25,000 fine or lose their boat. A police dog helped take down a felon who ran from police and carjacked a woman in Orange County. Police say 37-year-old Antonio Padilla led them on a chase before pulling into this Irvine apartment complex. He ran and then he pulled a 22-year-old woman out of her car. Her brother was nearby. He jumped in to help her before Padilla took off. He just was like honking the horn behind me, and then, um, and then I just saw him pull in front of me to go to her. She was struggling to not let the guy into the car. Kind of chance that I showed up at the right time. A police dog caught Padilla as he tried to run away. He was treated for dog bites. He is recovering in jail. A stolen car that once belonged to aviator Amelia Earhart has been found in El Sereno. There it is. It's a 1932 Hudson Essex Terraplane, and it was stolen at an Orange County car show on Friday. One of our viewers, though, helped find it. After we aired stories about that stolen car, they spotted the Terraplane and they called LAPD. Singer Demi Lovato is on a mission to help people with mental health problems. She's opening up about her own struggle and how she plans to help fans while she's on tour. Also, March Madness, bad for business. Researchers say the college tournament is a real distraction to workers. When it comes to getting the best services for your home, it's important to have all the facts. Myth. All TV providers are the same. Fact. Spectrum TV gives you more free HD, free primetime on demand, and the Spectrum TV app. So you can watch live TV on any device in your home for $29.99 a month. Call 844-578-2999. Myth. With internet, there's always a catch. Spectrum has the fastest internet starting speeds for the price. 100 megabits with no modem fees or data caps for $29.99 a month. Plus, Spectrum Voice gives you unlimited calling in the U.S., Mexico, Puerto Rico, and more for $29.99 a month. Call 844-578-2999. Myth. Getting the best price means signing a contract. With Spectrum, there are no contracts and no termination fees. The fact is, Spectrum gives you the best services at the best value. Get Spectrum TV, Internet, and Voice for $29.99 a month each. Call 844-578-2999. You wouldn't accept an incomplete job from anyone else. So, why accept it from your allergy pills? Most pills don't finish the job because they don't relieve nasal congestion. Flonase Allergy Relief is different. Flonase relieves sneezing, itchy, watery eyes, and a runny nose, plus nasal congestion, which pills don't. 
Flonase helps block six key inflammatory substances. Most pills only block one, and six is greater than one. Start your day with Flonase for more complete allergy relief. Flonase, this changes everything. I was closing a heavy gate when suddenly it fell on top of me, injuring my leg. I was disabled and sad. The Dominguez firm helped me, fought for me in a court, and I won a verdict of more than $2 million. We recovered over $500 million for injured clients. And if there's no recovery, there's no fee. We're here for you. Contact us. The Dominguez Firm. Justice for the injured. Freeconsultation.com. Come take a taste of California each week with me, Tracy Sellers, on California Bountiful. Saturdays at 7.30 p.m. on KCAL. I enjoy it a lot. It's a lot of work. You really get gratification out of knowing that you got the story. The stories we do are on public officials or city employees and things like that. And if they're out there doing something wrong, um, it's fair game. That's what you really want in this business. You want to expose something and you want change. And it's gratifying. You expose something that people don't know about. And I think it's just a nose for trying to keep moving further and further. And that's the best thing we do here. Pop star Demi Lovato is kicking off her new tour with a focus on mental health. She was diagnosed with bipolar disorder back in 2010. And then last night, she invited five survivors of the Florida school shooting on stage. Maria Villarreal was at the concert and she spoke with Demi. I got all these daddy issues. Demi Lovato hit a personal note in front of more than 7,000 fans at the debut night of her Tell Me You Love Me tour. Opening up about her own struggles with depression and addiction. I, got all these daddy issues. I want to share my journey with people and my story so that it can open people's minds and see that there's nothing wrong with you just because you have a mental illness. The Grammy nominated singer songwriter has battled bipolar disorder for eight years. Mike Bayer was instrumental in her recovery. I will forever be in debt to him for coming into my life and providing me with a place that was safe um, and believing in me. Now business partners, they use the concert tours to inspire others suffering from mental illness to seek help. A lot of Demi's music that allows for healing and it's how do you turn sadness or uh, just a tragic situation into inspiration and empowerment. Moved by the images of the Florida school shooting, Lovato personally reached out to some of the students on social media, concerned about their mental health after living through the tragedy. Seeing something that disturbing um, is just painful to watch, and my heart goes out to them. On February 14th, one of the worst mass shootings in American history took place. These students were in the school that day. Please welcome them to the stage. She invited survivors to her concert last night to share their stories. There has been talk about obviously wanting to use this shooting for gun reform, but you think this is an opportunity to talk about mental health. It has nothing to do with politics. It's about healing. And it was how can we help these students heal from what they've been through. The students that came here today and shared their stories are so incredibly brave and courageous and they really are warriors in my eyes. I'm a survivor in more ways than you know. While she continues her own journey of healing, the pop star says she's committed to fighting the stigma attached to mental illness, one performance at a time. So ashamed, so confused, but I'm not broken. Mireya Villarreal, San Diego. Does your teenager want to work? There's an app that can help young people enter the job market. We're going to show you how it works. Already following CBS LA on Facebook? Follow these steps to make sure you continue to see our stories on your news feed. First, click on the triangle pointer in the top right corner of your Facebook page. Select News Feed Preferences. Then click Prioritize Who to See First and select CBS LA.
If you've been injured in an accident that's not your fault, listen up. We've got legal professionals standing by to answer your questions and offer you a free consultation. Hello, I'm Gina Peterson along with spokesman John Wolf. So John, who should be calling right now? Well, just like you said, Gina, if you've been injured in an accident and it wasn't your fault, call us right now. We'll answer your questions and offer a free consultation. Thank you, John. Pick up the phone and call now. Do you have a coffee smile? Drinking coffee causes yellow teeth for thousands of people just like you. And whitening toothpaste just doesn't make those stains go away. Introducing Power Swabs, the first teeth whitening system that lifts coffee stains off your teeth in less than five minutes without whitening strips or trays. The secret is a tooth detergent and whitening agent developed by Dr. Martin Ginnicker that lifts stains off of your teeth. Power Swabs remove stains on natural teeth, veneers, bonding, caps, and crowns. The best part is you just swab your teeth for five minutes and you'll have whiter teeth. No more sitting at home with a whitening strip or tray in your mouth for 30 minutes twice a day. Call for your five-minute solution to whiter teeth. Whiten your teeth today by ordering Power Swabs and receive 40% off the regular price. Yes, 40% off the regular price. Shipping is free, plus you'll receive a free quick stick pen. Visit powerswabs.com or call the number on your screen. The coolest thing about Heal is being able to have somebody actually come to you. I pushed my little button and the doctor was at our door within an hour. It really took the time to ask a lot of questions, to get to know us as people. It was a really thoughtful visit. So much more convenient and it's super affordable. Urgent care, pediatrics and preventive care. Covered by insurance for just $99. Available every day. Heal. Your doctor is here. Hi everyone and welcome to the Legal Help Center. If you've been injured in an accident that's not your fault, listen up. We've got legal professionals standing by to answer your questions and offer you a free consultation. Hello, I'm Gina Peterson along with spokesman John Wolf. So John, who should be calling right now? Well, just like you said, Gina, if you've been injured in an accident and it was not your fault, call us right now. We'll answer your questions and offer you a free consultation. Thank you, John. Pick up the phone and call now. A new app can help teenagers find odd jobs to fit into their busy schedules. It's called Scratch. Adults list jobs that they need done and teens sign up to do them. Sometimes the jobs are listed with about an hour's notice. There's mowing lawns, babysitting, even setting up an iPad. That they couldn't figure out how to do, but that was very simple and second nature for me. Teens have to be at least 14 years old to sign up and they do need their parents' permission. All right, do you ever feel like your phone is spying on you? Some people say they get ads for products right after they talk about them in conversations. Tony DeCopel looked at whether that's possible. So you've had this feeling that your phone is listening to you? Oh, definitely. Sam Nguyen is sure she gets ads from Facebook and Google for things she only mentions out loud. I didn't write that in my email. I didn't check it out online yet. It's just popping up. That's kind of weird. Weird enough to convince her the companies are eavesdropping through her phone's microphone. But are they? I think it's very, very unlikely. Sandy Parakilis is a former Facebook operations manager. He says constant streams of audio from so many phones would be too expensive to gather and analyze, and all the data would drive up people's phone bills. Besides, he says, companies don't have to listen to know what's on your mind. They know a tremendous amount about you, and that that enables them to make guesses about what to advertise to you that can be uncannily accurate. That's because they already mine a cross-section of personal data, including almost everything we post, share, and search for online. For the last few years, it's gotten incredibly more invasive, and I think that it continues in that direction unless we stop it. This is DuckDuckGo homepage, so... Gabriel Weinberg has been trying to do just that through his company, DuckDuckGo. He opened my Google account to demonstrate just how much information has been collected about me. It knows, it knows I came to DuckDuckGo today. There's the directions. <laughs> yep. This is just yesterday, 159 different items that they've tracked you across. Ads, search, maps, YouTube, books. Google says it has access to 70% of credit and debit card transactions in the United States. Along with Facebook and others, it also monitors much of what we're doing across the web. 
Using hidden tracking technologies, the companies can see many of the pages you and people connected to you are visiting, allowing them to better tailor their ads. According to the author of one study, Google has trackers on 76% of websites, while Facebook watches us on 23% of sites. Would you say that the advertising model for the Internet is based on a breach of privacy? I think it has passed that level for Facebook and Google. How so? In that people don't realize that they can be targeted to the degree that they are. But people like Bill Buddington can watch the watchers. There's all this data that it's sending out. We asked the security researcher from the Electronic Frontier Foundation to help us with a test. Maybe you'll find a deal out there for mm -hmm. a Cuisinart coffee maker. Yeah. We discussed several household products while he monitored activity on a nearby cell phone, watching for any secret audio transmissions. So from what you're able to see today, bottom line, has that phone been listening to our conversation? We haven't seen any audio recordings being sent. And we never saw ads for the products we discussed either. Yet even if companies are listening to people, as Sam Nowen suspects, she tells us she's not overly concerned. Were any of the ads helpful? Um, a few actually. <laughs> she sees an upside to advertisers knowing her so well. It is creepy for sure. It is very creepy, but I'm not completely like, oh my God, this is terrible. Google and Facebook have both denied using cell phone microphones to collect information for ads. In a statement, Google wrote, we do not use any ambient sound from any device to target ads. And while Facebook didn't respond to our request for comment, it's previously said, we show ads based on people's interests and other profile information, not what they're talking about out loud. Tony DeCopel, New York. Coming up next, Amber's back. She's going to check of our forecast and see how employers are gearing up for the distractions of March Madness. We'll be right back. If you've been injured in a car accident, you probably have a lot of questions. Who will pay my medical bills? What about my lost wages? Will I receive compensation? Do I need a lawyer? Call the Barnes firm now to get the answers and the help you need. 808 million. If you've been injured, call the Barnes firm now. For over 75 years, Riviera Reupholstery has been creating Southern California's most beautiful furniture. There's nowhere more trusted to have your furniture reupholstered than Riviera. We'll bring you over 10,000 fabrics to choose from. So don't throw out that old couch. Send it on a trip to the Riviera. Riviera reupholstered furniture, that is. Call 855 Cover. That's 800 552 6837. Get the kitchen of your dreams at a huge discount. Builder Surplus has the most extensive inventory at Big Savings, the Southland's largest kitchen showroom. From kitchen cabinets to bathroom vanities, it's one stop shopping. 65 vanity styles, 18 kitchen styles, all assembled and in stock. 123,000 square feet of inventory. Builder Surplus Kitchen and Bathroom Cabinets in Santa Ana at Dyer Road at the 55 Freeway. Call 888-528-5656 or go to buildersurplus.tv. Save thousands on the new Revolutionary Swim Spa at a one-time event. Friday through Sunday. Fairplex Pomona Building 7. Exercise with low impact. Swim the entire year and stay in shape. Teach your kids to swim. Unwind and save thousands. Avoid the expense and maintenance involved with a pool. Swim, exercise, and relax in your new aquatic exercise swim spa. Installation and one day only. New 2018 inventory. 18-month interest-free financing. Millions of dollars of inventory must be sold. Friday through Sunday. Fairplex Pomona, Entergate 17. Free admission. Call 1-888-SPA-SALE. For two decades, Susan G. Komen has helped families in our community fight breast cancer. Saving lives with screenings and diagnostic services for LA's diverse population, providing support services and funding research. With your help, we're empowered to do even more. Join us for this year's Race for the Cure, March 10th at Dodger Stadium. Together, we are more than pink. Is there something in your community that David Goldstein should investigate? Email your tip to goldsteininvestigates at cbs.com or call the Goldstein Investigates tip line at 818-655-2442. 
A lot of people talking about President Donald Trump's claim that he would have run into the Florida high school during the shooting. Well, the host of The Late Show on CBS, Stephen Colbert, reacted. Look, sir, sir, we already know how you react to combat situations. You got five deferments from Vietnam. What are you going to do? Run in there and stab them with your bone spurs? <laughs> you know, I could have won Vietnam. I, I could have won Vietnam. No weapon, just ran right up to Ho Chi Minh and karate chop him in the clavicle. You can watch The Late Show with Stephen Colbert after the CBS 2 News at 11. Tonight's guests, Kiefer Sutherland, Zoe Lister Jones, and John McWhorter. All right, time to check the markets and your money for this Tuesday afternoon, just a few minutes away from the close on Wall Street as we take a live look at the big board. And it was up triple digits earlier. Look at this, a wild swing. It's now down 237 points at 25,472. Sports fans all across the country gearing up for March Madness, but employers might not be quite as excited when they find out how much time employees watch those games at work. There's a new study from Office Team. It found Americans spend more than 25 minutes a day on sports-related activities. The tournament covers 15 workdays, so um, add it up. That's six hours. Researchers say it can be good because it does give employees time to bond, and that can boost morale but they can also fall behind on their work. They seem like really small choices, right? In the moment, it seems like nothing um, in order to, to make these choices. But over the span of our lifetimes, they end up making a difference. <laughs> the first games start March 13th on our sister station, CBS2. Soon time to get that bracket together, right? Yeah. Okay. I can't. I think I won it, the office one, a couple I, years I ago. I think you did too. <laughs> just by wild picks, right? Yeah, exactly. Doesn't know a thing about basketball. <laughs> I just picked the opposite of what my husband picked. Okay. All right. So here's a look where we do have some scattered showers still pushing into the area right now. A lot of unstable air. So the first storm system not over just yet. It did bring us a lot of new snow up in the mountains, and right now we're looking at a rain cell sitting over Chino Hills, starting to work its way over to Rancho Cucamonga. You can see, and it is going toward the mountains and the foothills of San Bernardino County. We also have a big rain cell right now sitting over Calabasas that's dumping in some heavier rain over to Topanga Canyon, and now it's moving over to Reseda and also Encino and right outside of our broadcast studio. I have a feeling we're probably going to see some rain in the next few minutes or maybe in the, in the next half hour. But we also have some large rain cells coming off the ocean right now, working its way over to Laguna Niguel and also Irvine. Earlier, we did get reports of pea sized hail, what we call grupal, and then we did get lightning strikes near Norwalk. So once the system leaves the area, that will be later tonight, things will be much more calm, much more sunny, warmer for Wednesday. Then storm number two starts to move in by the time we head into Thursday morning. And that storm system can pack a little bit more of a punch, bring us much more rain, and staying with us till Saturday. All right. Amber, thanks. And thanks for watching at noon. For everyone here at KCAL 9, I'm Sandra Mitchell. Remember, we're always on KCAL9.com. See you back here at 4. Travel plan sponsored by Jerome's Furniture. No gimmicks or phony sales, just pure value every day. When I meet customers, I know they're shopping for the best deals. At Jerome's, we always make sure that Jerry's price is the lowest price. Like our landmark, it's covered with a soft top grain leather, and it's less than half of what you pay elsewhere. And our solid acacia dining set. Other stores have it for $8.99, but at Jerome's, it's just $5.88. We shop and compare prices so you don't have to. That's why we guarantee that Jerry's price is the lowest price every day. Jerome's Real Family Values. Live the fastest Sunday of the year. Tickets at AutoClubSpeedway.com. Trust is something you earn, and Northwest College has earned the trust of nursing students and healthcare professionals for 50 years because we're committed to making quality education affordable for the community. Now we can help you train for a rewarding career as a vocational nurse in as little.